I have a wife. She's real. And um, we have, we have uh, children as well. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So I am fucked. And uh, yeah, uh, when my wife was pregnant with our first child, she came home from the OBGYN one day and she said, good news, the doctor said we can start doing things to induce labor. And I was like, oh, like what? And she goes, well, one of them is sex. And I said, well, pick another one because I don't want to induce labor that way. Are you out of your fucking mind? I don't, I already don't know what I'm doing down there. I don't need to say, oh God, it's happening. I don't need that to, do you understand? Like I'm already sad that I don't go very long in bed. I don't want to roll off my wife and have her be like, that was so nice. <laughs> I mean, it didn't make me go into labor, but still, pretty good. I also don't want my baby to be born that way. I don't want my baby in the womb like, what is that knocking? What is, oh, dad, I'll be right out. Like, that's not how I want that to go. The knocking is my penis against the womb. Okay, she got it. Um, I live here in LA. Sometimes people in LA don't know why you would have kids. Like they're kind of surprised that you have kids. Like I'll tell someone at a party, oh yeah, I have kids. And they'll be like, like for commercials? Like they don't understand <laughs> why that would have happened. Sometimes I tell people a story about my kids and they tell me a story about their dog. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that to me, okay? Look, if you have a pet, I am willing to admit that your love for your pet is as real and as strong as my love for my kids, but it's different, okay? If mine dies, it's a little sadder. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if mine gets really sick, the doctor doesn't give me the option of just not doing anything. <laughs> I'm not allowed to bury my son in my backyard, and I feel I should have that right. He's my son. <laughs> I like that one because it ends with yelling. <laughs> I, uh, I also had a vasectomy. The last comic was talking about having a vasectomy. I also have one. It's one of the ways that I am a hero. And um, <laughs> unfortunately, I got a funny doctor. You don't want a funny doctor. When he taped my penis to my belly, which is something you never think will happen to you. <laughs> When he taped my penis to my belly, he said, let's get this troublemaker out of the way. No. Didn't like that. Not a troublemaker. A constructive member of society who obeys the rules. Um, yeah, uh, you know, having kids, you know, you really think about your own parents, right? And uh, recently my dad came and visited me, and then at the end of the visit, he was here for a week, at the end of the visit, he didn't hug me because he was worried about getting to the airport on time. Like, I was like, Dad! And he was like, the, the Uber is here. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got to the airport four hours early. <laughs> So, he could have loved me. <laughs> My wife and I, we've been married eight years. I don't know if it's gonna work out. Uh, we have different love languages. You know, love language, it's, it's this self-help book. It kind of tells you how you express love. Mine is the dumbest one. My, my love language is verbal affirmation. That means I just tell you, I love you. That's my love language. <laughs> me saying I love you. Hers is acts of service, which means she does stuff for you. And they do not go together. Because this is something, this is an exchange I'll have with my wife. I'll be sitting down with my wife and I'll say something like, you know, I've never met someone like you who makes me feel like a kid again but also simultaneously like I'm like my most mature, most complete self. And that's why I love you. And then she'll go, I got you those pens you like. <laughs> and 
then we get a divorce? I don't know about the pens. I couldn't get the woman that gives you sex. I got the pens lady. <laughs> Anybody here single, single people? Okay, if you are single, I am gonna tell you why you are single. Um, sometimes my wife and I will hang out with our single friends, and when we do that, I, I realize why people are single. Single people are afraid of conflict, okay? That's the problem. Because when my wife and I hang out with our single friend, sometimes we'll have like a little fight. It's not a big fight, it's like a little one. It's like, did you bring the juice? No, I forgot. Well, we can't have the smoothies now. <laughs> now that is not a big deal, but my single friends are always like, okay, let's all calm down. Should I call 911? This isn't playing Xbox or masturbating, what do I do? And I have news for single people, okay? And it's a cliche, but it's true. Marriage is just one 40-year fight that I'm going to win. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm going to win it. And I'm so much stronger from fighting her every day. Now, if you ask me why I parked that way, I'll give you five reasons that I parked number one. And that's the strength that marriage has given me. <laughs> I'll end on this 24 minute bit. I, um, feels like a lot of people are getting shot lately with guns. Uh, yeah, we're taking a left turn. And uh, people are getting shot every day, right? I, I don't like guns and it's because I am afraid of them. That is why I don't like them. Um, I'm actually from West Virginia where they have open carry. So that means people can just like when I go home for Christmas, I just pe see people walking into the Target with a gun on their hip. And it always bothers me that they never take a shot at the Target. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> but when I see a gun, I, this is how I know I'm afraid of guns. When I see a gun, I have a, a physical reaction, okay? When I see a gun in real life, my asshole closes. That's how dangerous guns are. That's my body's best idea to protect me. I'm like, uh oh, a gun. And my body's like, I got it. There you go. That wouldn't even help if someone was firing into my asshole. One time I did that joke and another comedian was like, why was your asshole open? And, uh, you guys get it. it, it clenches. Okay, that's probably my time. You're wonderful. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of the comics.